What up, YouTube? It's your boy Chemo, vaped up and dripped out, voodoo for short. First, I want to say to my little bit of subscribers that I do have, thank you for staying subscribed and not leaving me. I know I haven't put any content in a while, but uh, I got to be honest, I'm a merchant marine, so I leave for months on end, and uh, I just came home maybe about three weeks ago. Uh, I did about 50 days I was gone on a ship. And um, and I'm back, and I'm back, and I picked up a couple little things along the way, and one thing I picked up, which I'm here to review right now, is this broadside polishing tool, right? Now I had a couple of mech mods for a while now, and you know it's a pain in the ass having to clean those with just a rag. You know everybody always wants to do something simple, you know. So with this bad boy right here, this broadside polishing tool. Now I can clean up my stuff quick, fast. One, two, three. You know what I'm saying? So what we got here is brought to you by BJ Box Mods. Uh, you can pick these up on their website. It's, uh, I'll put the link down in the description. But I believe it's BJBoxMods.com. And it goes for 30 bucks. It's, there goes that one. It goes for 30 bucks. I believe I just said that. And what's cool about this is not only does it have a 510 for your um mech mod but it also has a female for your rda awesome and also what i like it has this little delrin disc right this delrin disc and it won't scratch up your mods it won't scrape you know your nice copper brass mods it won't scratch it up nothing perfect your RDAs either you know and um, believe it or not I know $30 sounds kind of steep for this little tool but not too many people have them I haven't really seen these around I saw I think uh, the vaping biker he might have put a video up um, he might have put a video up on a polishing tool a while back but um, it was to a website in the UK and stuff but this one is pretty hefty it's got pretty much weight to it not for nothing so it's made out of good uh good steel. I'm gonna say it's stainless. Cause I've had it for a while and it hasn't rusted or nothing, you know. I keep it out. So it hasn't got oxidized at all. So I wanna say it's stainless. Pretty sure it's stainless. It says it's milled by steel, but it doesn't say stainless, but it hasn't hasn't rusted out on me or nothing. But one thing I do notice, it got some nice engraving. Some deep some deep engraving it says broadside mods on it pretty cool some nice knurling see the knurling here it's, you know easy to take off and take on put on and take off and uh yeah while i'm at it why not polish up my broadside a little bit it's a little bit uh it's a little bit dirty a little not too bad but it's gonna bring it's gonna shine better than this with my kennedy 25 on it so let's real quick let's check it out you know what i'm saying so, first thing you're always going to want to do, you're going to want to take your battery out of your mod, you know? Definitely take your battery out. Take your battery out of your mod. Boom, we got that to the side. So, we're going to take our 510. We're going to keep that Delrin on there, all right? going to keep that Delrin on there so we don't want to scratch our shit, you know? We pay a lot of money for our stuff. Boom, then you're just going to... Put it right onto your 510 like if you were screwing on an RDA. You don't gotta go finger tight. Finger tight is perfect. Open up our drill. And with your drill, you're gonna have to open it up all the way because these are pretty chunky. So after we do that, tighten our stuff up. So it's nice and tight. Well. Alright, I'm gonna pull out. This is what I use. This is what I use to clean up my uh to clean up my mods, my mechs. Some blue magic metal polishing cream. Stuff's good. Uh I think I got it on Amazon or something. Yeah, but you could get it anywhere. Auto Parts store has it, you know. So I'm just gonna put a little bit because this stuff goes a long way and it's strong, so uh me, I've been around it so long, it doesn't even bother me. But uh, if you first start using this, it's real strong. So you might want to maybe uh, 
Maybe wear a little mask, I don't know. But it's pretty strong, you know? So boom, look, I just put a little bit. That's just a little bit. And, and we're just gonna go. Start from the ends, end to end. Work a little bit, go back and forth, you know? Pick up the speed. I can already see it getting black. So now I'm gonna come back with it with a with a clean one. Or you could just use the same one, find the clean spot on, on your rag that you were using. But I like to use, do two of them, two different ones, you know? Ooh, I see that shining already, baby. Look at that. Look at how shiny she is. Oh, goodness. Came out beautiful. And simple. What'd that take me? Not even not even three minutes. You know? And, um, you know, you're going to have to do, like, the little, add the little parts by yourself without the, uh, without the drill. Like, the, uh, the bottom, maybe the bottom brass rings on your stuff, you know? But other than that, oh yeah, she came out so pretty. Nice and clean, shining, you know? So and it works fine for the RDAs too. We're gonna we're gonna flip it around, put an RDA on there, you know. So the dowel ring, you gotta just gotta take it off, and then you're gonna have to put it on the RDA, you know. Put it on your RDA. Now you know, take off your drip tip, obviously. Take your drip tip off, and also, also. I would recommend you taking off, taking out your build, you know, but uh, with these Kennedys, I, I don't take off the, I don't take my build off with the Kennedys because, uh, because it's a lot, it takes a lot for it to get in and out and I only use a little bit to get into these holes and come out the air holes and get in, you know, so I don't, I don't even bother, you know, but I put the Delvin on there, then I take the other end. Put it on. Boop. Now I cleaned this the other day. So I don't need to put too much on there, you know. Oh yeah, see for like the top pieces, the little stuff you're gonna have to do yourself, you know. There's no getting around that. You gotta put a little bit of work in. <laughs> So now I'm gonna do the RDA real fast for you. Just to show you how simple it is, you know? Take a little bit. I use only a little bit. See that? It's not even a. That's like I just dabbed it. That's it, you know? So boom.
come back with a clean one. Now you don't want to put too much pressure. You don't want to put too much pressure because then the top cap will start spinning on you, you know? So just enough that the microfiber glides across it. Just enough so that the microfiber cork glides right across it. Q-tip. This is for the Kennedys. Every RDA obviously is going to be different. Like the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse, so you could clean the Apocalypse on here. But, uh, there's that top, the top, um, heat sink fins. It's a fucking pain in the ass to clean those. But I take a Q-tip. I just clean the inside here to make sure I didn't get nothing in there. You know? And also, I know you don't want to wet it after that, but you know with these chemicals and and all that, you're gonna want to uh, see because when I clean the top, a little bit get it by, right on the old ring, you know. So you still want to rinse this, which I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna pause it real quick while I go rinse this off, you know. Still rinse it off. Cause this this thing's this thing's really really fucking the chemicals are no joke on there you know so I'll be right back I'm gonna go rinse this off and then I'll come back and tell you what I think about it all right all right and we're back so this was the broadside polishing tool by BJ Box Mods. Get it on their website. And it's an awesome little tool, man. It almost took no effort at all. Mod shining again. Beautiful. Remember, rinse it off after you use this. I know you just clean it, but when it comes to the RDA, you gotta rinse it off, man. You know? Because that shit, is, those chemicals and that blue magic is no joke. But, um, yeah, so that's my review for this uh, broadside polishing tool, man. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate my loyal subscribers that stood with me while I was gone for so long. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try to bump out some more content. And I got a lot of juices to review. Um, I have also uh, a couple of RDA reviews that I bought along the way. And um, also, oh yeah, this broadside mod. Me and my buddy Wally Cat, W Cat underscore seven eight seven. I'll put a link to his channel. We have a nice review on this broadside we did a while back when mods first started popping up, you know? And uh, so, yeah, you can check that out if you want to see more about the broadside. Just head over to his channel. He's a good friend of mine. We grew up together, you know? But, um, yeah, YouTube, man, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And keep an eye out. I'm going to have some more stuff coming through. And, and uh, thank you. Appreciate you. Peace, YouTube. See you on the next one, baby.